Our Sun is insanely massive. Want proof? 99.86% of all the mass in the solar system is the mass of the Sun, in particular the hydrogen and helium it's made of. The remaining 0.14% is mostly the mass of the solar system's eight planets. The Sun's atmosphere is hotter than the surface of the star. The surface temperature reaches 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit, but the upper atmosphere heats up to millions of degrees. Venus is a champ when it comes to volcanoes. The planet has about 1,600 major ones, but none of them is known to erupt. The ocean on Jupiter is larger than any other in the solar system. But unlike Earth's oceans, it's made not of water, but of metallic hydrogen. The ocean's depth is a mind-blowing 25,000 miles that's almost the same as the distance around Earth. With an average diameter of 2,160 miles, the Moon is the fifth largest satellite in the solar system after Jupiter's satellites Ganymede, Callisto, and Io, and Saturn's Titan. There's a supermassive black hole 250 million light years away from us. It hums the deepest sound ever detected from any object in the universe. It's 57 octaves lower than the middle C on your piano. That's one quadrillion, which is one with 15 zeros, times deeper than what we can hear. The Milky Way galaxy and the Andromeda galaxy are going to meet in 3.75 billion years. They're moving towards each other at a breakneck speed. When the two galaxies collide, they'll form a huge elliptical galaxy. I won't be around then. Mercury is a few billion years old. In 2016, scientists discover some abnormalities on the planet's surface, showing that it's getting smaller. After more research, they found out that Mercury hadn't finished cooling down yet. Astronauts in space can lose about 1% of their muscle mass each month. To prevent this, they have to stick to an exercise regimen that lasts two hours every single day. Venus spins at its own unhurried pace. A full rotation takes 243 Earth days. And it takes the planet a bit less than 225 Earth days to go all the way around the Sun. It means a day on Venus is longer than a year. You can see solar eclipses because even though the Moon is 400 times smaller than the Sun, it's also 400 times closer to Earth, so it's perfectly capable of obscuring the star. But in 50 million years, I won't be around then, the Moon won't be able to block the Sun completely because of the satellite's changing orbit. The highest mountain in the solar system is Olympus Mons on Mars. It's three times as high as Mount Everest, the Earth's highest mountain above sea level. If you were standing on top of Olympus Mons, you wouldn't understand you were standing on a mountain. Its slopes would be hidden by the planet's curvature. A full NASA spacesuit costs an unbelievable $12 million. Yeah, I can believe that. 70% of this hefty sum is for the control module and backpack. Astronomers have found a massive reservoir of water in space the largest ever detected. Too bad it's also the farthest, 12 billion light years away from us. The water vapor cloud holds 140 trillion times as much water as all the Earth's oceans combined. Space isn't supposed to be black. There are stars everywhere. Shouldn't they light up everything around? You don't see stars wherever you look, because some of them haven't existed long enough for their light to reach Earth. At first sight, the Moon seems to be as large as the Sun, but it's just an illusion. The star is 400 times bigger than the Earth's satellite. It's also 400 times farther from us than the Moon. That's why these space bodies look as if they're of the same size. Saturn has a moon called Pan, and it looks like a ravioli. It's only 20 miles across and works as a shepherd to the matter that makes up Saturn's rings. The Moon clears an empty space between the rings, known as the Enki Gap, and keeps it free from ring particles. All of the planets of the solar system would fit between Earth and the Moon with some space to spare. There are huge temperature fluctuations on the Moon. Close to the satellite's equator, the temperature rises from minus 279 degrees at night to 260 degrees in the afternoon. Saturn's rings are very thin compared to its size. 
If you had a scale model of the planet that was 3 feet wide, the rings would be 10,000 times thinner than a razor blade. Mercury is a few billion years old. In 2016, scientists discovered some abnormalities on the planet's surface, showing that it's getting smaller. After more research, they found out that Mercury hasn't finished cooling down yet. Even though Venus is the hottest planet in our solar system, it still has snow. But it's not what you expect. It snows metals and rains acid. Not a great vacation spot. A day on Uranus lasts 17 hours, 14 minutes, and 24 seconds. But get this, the planet has a tilt of around 98 degrees, and that makes a season on the gas giant last 21 Earth years. Mars has two moons, Phobos and Deimos. In the next 30 to 50 million years, Mars' gravitational forces will tear Phobos apart, and it will likely result in the formation of a ring around the planet. I won't be around then. If there was no gravity in space, the Earth wouldn't be able to hold the Moon near itself. All the planets and stars would just fly across the universe freely, bump into each other, and, well, it would probably end things really quickly. Gravity can be tiny, but never absent. This is one of the laws. As for astronauts and the ISS, the Earth's gravity is only 10% less in orbit than it is on the ground. If we build a platform 190 to 250 miles high, it's the altitude of the ISS above Earth, and throw a stone from there, it will fall down just the same way it falls down from your balcony. Our planet's inner core is as hot as the sun's surface. Yeah! It's mostly solid iron and nickel, surrounded by super-hot liquid and heated up to 10,800 degrees Fahrenheit. Astronauts tasted the first food grown and harvested in space in 2015. It was red romaine lettuce that had been growing in a special chamber for 15 months. The fact that, in the near future, people might not need to bring huge amounts of food to space means we can explore further and longer without running out of supplies. There are more than 120 million pieces of junk orbiting Earth. Sadly, all this space trash was left by us, humans. Space debris moves at a breakneck speed of 17,500 miles per hour around our planet. Just don't get in the way. You might have noticed that there are no solar winds on our planet. For that, you can thank the Earth's nickel-iron core coupled with the planet's fast rotational speed. These two factors combined create a strong protective magnetic field. The solar system is 4.6 billion years old. So old, it's a senior solar system. Scientists came to this conclusion after they studied the oldest material they managed to get a hold of. And by that, I mean meteorites, of course. You probably heard of methane gas, a byproduct of natural processes such as volcanic activity and cows. Anyway, this gas is not only a part of the Martian atmosphere, but also the thing that confuses astronomers to no end. The thing is that the volume of methane on Mars keeps wavering, and scientists just can't figure out where it might be coming from. Can there be cows on Mars? Earth might not be the only tectonically active planet in the solar system. Astronomers have spotted some landforms looking like cliffs on Mercury. If it's so, the tectonic activity could explain the rapid shrinking of the planet. In most sci-fi movies about space, the main character gets into an asteroid belt and must dodge countless rocks that threaten to damage their spacecraft. Well, sorry to disappoint, but that's nothing like the real thing. The only asteroid belt astronomers know about is located between Mars and Jupiter. There are thousands of asteroids in this region, but they're so widely spaced that the chance of collision is next to nothing. Ah, you just ruined it. Sorry. Behind the orbit of Neptune lies the mysterious Kuiper Belt, filled with massive icy objects. The most curious thing about this space formation, though, is that scientists can't explain the pattern of its movement. The only explanation they have is that Neptune might be hiding a ginormous planet from our sight. Earth has a strong magnetic field thanks to two important factors. It's nickel-iron core and a pretty fast axial rotation. The magnetic field is vital for Earth because it protects the planet from the impact of solar winds. 
we think of our planet's magnetic field as something constant and stable, but the truth is that it's changing. Some scientists believe that our planet used to have an additional satellite. According to their research, a smaller celestial body, about 750 miles wide, orbited the Earth just like a second moon. It most likely crashed into our main satellite later on. Such a collision could explain why the two sides of the moon look so different from each other, one being heavily cratered and rough. Now, earthquakes, or rather, moonquakes on the moon aren't something from science fiction. They actually happen. They don't occur as often as those on Earth, but they are much deeper and closer to the center of our satellite, about halfway between the surface and the core. About 20 million tons of gold can be found inside our very own planet and in the seas. If all this precious metal could be extracted, it would be enough to cover the entire surface of the planet in a two-foot layer of gold. And if we gave everyone an equal piece, each one of Earth's inhabitants would get 9 pounds of this treasure. Now, Dr. Shil Desarma, a microbial geneticist from the University of Maryland, hypothesizes, which is a $10 scientific word for guesses, that our planet was once purple. He thinks that ancient microbes probably didn't use chlorophyll, but other molecules to process sunlight. These molecules most likely would have given a violet hue to the microbes, turning the entire planet purple. Man, Prince was born way too early. He would have loved that. The Great Red Spot on Jupiter is a gargantuan storm that's been raging for at least 400 years now. Back when it was first found, it was three times the size of our whole planet. The farthest we can see into space today is 13.2 billion light years. It took the Hubble Space Telescope 10 years to make a single image that far. The universe is thought to be 13.7 billion years old, but it's constantly expanding. And now it's probably about 93 billion light years in diameter. But that's only what we can observe. Scientists believe there's trillions upon trillions of light years of space beyond the edge of the observable universe. Comets are thought to come to the solar system from the Oort cloud, a theoretical asteroid field that's about 2,000 times as far from us as the Sun. The largest asteroid in the solar system is called Vesta, and it's so big that it's sometimes even called a dwarf planet. A trip to the nearest star apart from the Sun would take you 5 million years on a commercial airplane. That's what I call a long-haul flight. 